Dear friends, uh, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. What we are going to discuss uh, in this session, we are going to discuss the oral epithelium and the maturation process of oral epithelium. We will discuss about the keratinized and the non-keratinized oral epithelium. So watch this lecture till the end. So the oral epithelium is a stratified squamous epithelium. And this oral epithelial cells, they are tightly attached with each other with the help of uh, specialized junctions known as desmosomes. So the cells, these are the cells, for example, cells of the oral epithelium. And these cells, they are attached with each other with specialized junctions and these junctions are known as a desmosome so they are tightly attached with each other and these cells they contain all the organelles that are present in a normal cell like mitochondria or endoplasmic reticulum uh, and Golgi apparatus so the epithelial maturation, so the surface cells of the epithelium, they lost naturally after some time by a process and this process is known as the desquamation. So the cells that are present in the basal layer, they undergo a process of maturation and they move towards the surface and they replace the cells that are old and, and those cells that are replaced by normal process of desquamation. So the maturation, it follows two main patterns and the matured cells, either they become, they form a keratinized layer or they, they convert into a non-keratinized epithelium. So the maturation, it follows two main patterns keratinization or the non-keratinization. So the keratinized epithelium. So the keratinized epithelium has surface layer of a protein and that protein is known as keratin. So the cells of the surface layer, they are filled with a protein and that protein is known as keratin. This process of maturation uh, is known as the keratinization or also known as the carnification. So the keratinization of epithelium is in the region of the masticatory mucosa and the masticatory mucosa is present on the heart palate and the gingiva. The, the keratinization is also seen in some parts of the specialized mucosa as well. And the specialized mucosa, it is present on the dorsal surface of the tongue. Now, different cell layers in keratinized epithelium. So in the keratinized epithelium, uh, there are four layers of cells. And those, the first layer is the basal layer. And the basal layer is also known as the stratum basale. So the basal layer, it comprises of cuboidal or columnar cells. So the basal layer, it comprises of cuboidal or columnar cells. And these cuboidal or columnar cells, they are present close to the basal lamina or the basement membrane. So this basal layer is a uh, is few cell layer thick. The cells uh, in the basal layer, uh, they contain all the organelles that are present in a normal cell, um, like mitochondria, Golgi apparatus, endoplasmic reticulum. These cells, uh, they also contain bundles of tonofibrils. So bundles of the fibrils, they are here. So the most of the cell division it occurs in the basal layer. So in this layer, most of the cell division it occurs and it is few cell layer thick. The next uh, cell layer is the prickle cell layer. So the cells are spherical. 
spherical cells they are spherical cells with large nucleus and they also contain tono uh, filament bundles and it, it these cells the prickle cell layer is also known as stratum spinosum and these this cell layer it comprises of two third or half of the epithelium so this cell these are so there are several layers of cells several cell layers are present the next cell layer is the stratum granulosum So the next cell layer is the stratum granulosum or the granular cell layer. So these cells as compared to the prickle cell layer or the basal cell layer, these cells they are comparatively flatter. So these cells are flat as compared to the, to the prickle cell layer and the basal cell layer and these cells they contain few organel uh, organelles. So the number of the organelles, they are less. The size of the nucleus, it becomes smaller. And the keratohyaline granules, they appear close to the cell membrane. So granules of kerato that are known as keratohyaline granules, they appear close to the cell membrane. Similarly, tonofilament bundles, they are also present. And those tonofilament bundles, they are closely associated with the keratohyaline granules. So the last cell layer that is present superficially is the stratum corneum. And this stratum corneum is also known as the cornified layer. And this cornified layer, it, it, is, it consists of it is also few cell layer thick and it comprises of the most flattened cells. So these are the cells, the, the, the flattened cells. So in this cell, all the organelles, they are lost. So no nucleus is present and the cell, it is filled with only with the keratin. So the, all the organelles, they are lost and it only comprises of keratin so this is the superficial layer of cell and it is filled with keratin so these are the four layers uh, that are present in a keratinized epithelium now the non keratinized epithelium the non keratinized epithelium it also comprises of four cell layer so, but in the non keratinized epithelium, the epithelium do not have any surface layer of keratin. The non keratinized epithelium, it lines the area, areas of the lining mucosa, like buccal mucosa, alveolar mucosa, and the soft palate. Part of the specialized mucosa, they are also covered with a non keratinized epithelium as well, such as the dorsal surface of the tongue. The ventral surface, it is of the tongue or the lower surface of the tongue and the floor of the mouth, they are also lined by the lining mucosa and that mucosa is non-keratinized. So cell layers in a non-keratinized epithelium, four types of cells, they are present in a non-keratinized epithelium. First cell layer is the basal layer, also known as the stratum basale. And the stratum basale, the cell comprises of cuboidal and columnar cells that are associated with the basement membrane or the basal lamina and most of the cell division it occur in the basal layer uh, here the cell undergo the process of cell division and subsequent maturation so the so cell it comprises of nucleus and all the other organelles so instead of the tono filament bundles, 
separate tonofilaments they are present in the cell the next cell layer is the prickle cell layer and the prickle cell layer it comprises of large ovoid nucleus so these are the cells this is the prickle cell layer and this is the nucleus and it also comprises of all the organelles and individual t uh, tonofilaments individual tonofilaments are there no tonofilaments bundles are present the next cell layer is the stratum intermedium also known as the intermediate layer so the, as compared to the keratinized epithelium uh, the intermediate layer it is slightly flattened so these are the slightly flattened cells and the number of organelles uh, they are less but the organelles they are present it's nucleus individual donor filaments and also the glycogen granules they are present in the stratum intermedium the last cell layer or the most superficial layer in a non keratinized epithelium is the superficial layer or stratum superficial and this stratum superficial official it comprises of of flattened cells that are slightly flattened as compared to a keratinized epithelium so in the keratinized epithelium the cells they are completely flattened with no organelles but in the non keratinized epithelium the organelles they are present organelles they are present but they are in very smaller size all the organelles they are present tono filaments are also there glycogen granules are there and the nucleus is also present so all the organelles they are present but in smaller number and in the smaller size so these are the four layers uh, that are present in a non keratinized epithelium i hope you found this uh, lecture useful please do give me your feedback in the comments and thank you very much for watching and stay blessed